Hi, are you a fan of vision boarding? I used to do quite a lot of vision boards and sometimes they'd work out really well and some of the things would manifest on them and other times not a thing would um, show up and I used to get really frustrated with it and got to the point where I was thinking god this just doesn't work um, but I was still really intrigued and I still really enjoyed making them because when you take that time out just for yourself to um, just really focus on what your dreams and desires are and have a chance to get creative it's actually a really lovely day um so I was still intrigued I still hadn't given up and you know other people lots of other people do vision boards and they swear by them and they seem to get consistent results so what were they doing that I wasn't you know why wasn't it working for me so I've learned a few things in the meantime and nowadays I think my vision boarding manifesting is getting so much better. It's much more successful. Uh, but more importantly, I've realized a few things of what I did in the past that meant it could never really have worked that well. And some of these things are like coming from a place of lack. So that's like putting something on your board because you don't want to feel the current uh, like lack of a thing or the, the thing that you're you don't have in your life at the moment putting things on your board that you think you should want such as you know the things that everybody wants like money happy relationships success so not being specific enough um putting things on there that are really other people's ideas of success rather than the, the true desires from your heart that are aligned with your soul and purpose and maybe another big one is having expectations on how and when things will show up and tending to give up too quickly. I'm definitely guilty of that one. Uh, when I look back at some of my previous vision boards that I've done, you know, it, some of them make me cringe quite a lot because I can see that I've done all of those things. So these days, when I do a vision board, I set the whole thing up differently. It's quite a different experience. So I start with making sacred space. So I tend to smudge my space. I get some sage or some um, palo... Uh, Palo Santo um, and just cleanse the, the energy of the space that I'm working in and I get everything that I need uh, so I've got all my materials ready everything that I need to feel comfortable and relaxed and inspired I get some nice music on uh, I get all my materials ready all the magazines colors paint all that sort of thing and then I meditate I meditate to ground and center but also to really connect with the feelings and the joyful energy um, of what my desires are, how I'll feel when I have that thing. So the purpose of this process is really just to, you know, drop out of your thinking mind and into your body, into your heart's true intentions. Those are the ones that are aligned with your soul's potential, you know, that unique blueprint that you came in with. And when you can get this bit right and you can choose images and words and colours from this vibration to put on your board when you see your board not only does it activate law of attraction but this energy will help to sort of really pull you through any of the bumps in the road that might distract you or derail you it really helps to just help you keep growing into who you need to be in order to become that sort of energetic match for what you're wanting to manifest and, you know, once you're tuned in to this through this process, once you're tuned in, that's when the creative fun can start. This vision board here is my most recent one, and it feels so much more authentic. There's no uh, need for me to sort of repeat mantras or force myself to look at it every day. Um, I do have this on show here in, in my office, uh, but I don't kind of make myself go and look at it. But whenever I do see it, it really makes me smile and I get all these lovely feelings um, from it. This is really speaking to my heart. And there's so many of these things have already started to line up. I can feel things uh, starting sh to show up in life. And it's just a reminder that these are on the way. If you'd like to make your own vision board and you like the sound of how, how I do it, then you might be interested in a vision board workshop that I'm doing on uh, Friday, the 23rd of February. It's at Shrigley Hall Country Spa Hotel. So it's a beautiful place on the edge of uh, the Peak District in Cheshire. 
And as well as making the vision board, um, I'll be guiding you through um, an intuitive flow painting exercise that will help you to uh, meet some of your unconscious blocks to manifesting what you want so that you can start to dissolve them and really get that best start to calling in your desires. Uh, Shrigley Hall is just such a beautiful venue. It's surrounded in gorgeous scenery and it's a really nice way to just step out from your day-to-day -day routines and fully into me time, you know, so that you and your dreams get to be centre stage in your life and at the top of your priority list for a change. Because after all, we we know that as busy women with loads of hats to wear, if we don't carve out time for ourselves for this kind of thing, it's really hard to know what we want or need because we've just not made the time to listen to ourselves. And this can tend to result in just rolling aimlessly along and feeling a bit frustrated and unfulfilled because you don't really know what to go for. You've not had time to really tune into what you really want so that you know where you're going. So don't let your hopes and dreams get put on the back burner. When you're feeling inspired and happy and fulfilled, everybody around you is going to benefit. So if you're free on the 23rd of February, and you'd like to come and join us, we'd love to have you. And do please share this with anyone you think might like to come too. We have an early bird and a bring a friend offer on at the moment so that you can share this lovely day and both get a discount to, uh, discounted ticket as well. So for more information and for booking, uh, you can just click in the link in the comments. And I hope to see you there. Bye for now.